According to the Utah Air app, Salt Lake County is in the orange right now. And outside, we are in the gray or brown, you could say. Doctors say stay inside if you can. Fox 13's Danica Lawrence shows us a local man who has developed a way for you to step outside when the air gets bad a little more safely and with some style. Inversion effects aren't black and white. They're gray, gray, gray. In general, People are better off staying indoors um, when it, the air is polluted. Intermountain Medical Center's respiratory research doctor, Denitza Blagev, sees her patient's lung diseases worsen every year. However, if you only have a sensitivity to the bad air, then a local company might be able to help. Meet father and entrepreneur, Jeff Morton, and his inversion masks. I want to make sure that I'm providing something that works for people. And, and so far, the response has been great. The idea started last February during one of Utah's worst inversions. And Jeff's four-year-old son, Cole, struggled with severe breathing. There were points where I saw him grasping for air and also like getting tears in his eyes. He gave him a regular medical mask, but Cole didn't think it looked cool and he just didn't like it. Jeff owns an outdoor apparel company, so he sewed the mask into a gator, a neck warmer. Cole thought that was cool. The idea took off, but Jeff had to test masks that would keep the bad particulates out. He got them certified. Basically says that your mask blocks 95 or greater of PM 2.5 particulates, which are the common particulate size. There are limitations, though, with his carbon filter. You are going to have resistance in breathing, regardless, because you're, you're breathing through five layers of fabric. Some of the simple sort of carbon filters, and whether that's a carbon mask or a carbon filter, those are effective at trapping the really larger particulates. But in the last two weeks of sale, it's immediately helping people. I did have someone say, hey, this is great, exactly what I needed. A portion of Jeff's proceeds go to local clean air groups that lobby for clean air restrictions. So one day he won't have to ever make these masks again. Danica Lawrence, Fox 13 News, Utah.